As an avid Phantom Forces player, I can without a doubt say, I hate Arsenal. How can they be more popular than Phantom Forces when Phantom Forces is a much better game? I seriously don't get the hype. So you know what? I think I'm gonna try out Arsenal for myself, so I can see what all this fake hype is about. Okay, so here we are on the main menu, and they're already trying to sell me stuff. Great first impression, guys. But with the copious amounts of ads on the screen aside, let's actually explore the menu a bit. What's this little color icon here? Oh, okay, okay, I see you. You can customize your menu theme and the text. And what? You can also change your character color? Okay, I guess that's pretty neat. Alright, since they're trying to sell me stuff, let's look at the shop. This looks like every obby game trying to sell me stuff ever. But let's give this a chance. Bundles. What are bund- Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so they have skin cases, flare cases, calling card cases, and a- They have a melee case? Goddamn, okay, maybe Stylish should take some notes from Arsenal, because they seriously need their own form of melee case instead of wasting thousands of credits on starter cases hoping to get a specific melee with a bad skin. Okay, so after looking at all the items I'll never get in the shop, I'm curious about what items they even give you from the get-go, so let's check the locker. Hold on. Kill effect? Announcer? What? What's- what's a kill effect? Better yet, what- what do you- what do they mean announcer? Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, would you look at that? There's a Russian announcer. Alright, so as an avid Phantom Forces player, I know that having the right settings is the most essential thing before we can begin actually gaming. So let's see what we can change in Arsenal. Wow. Okay. We have a lot of different aspects we can change. Wow. And would you look at that? They even have short descriptions for each individual settings. Oh, would you look at that? They even have streamer mode. Thank god, now we won't get banned from YouTube when some guy just starts spamming racial slurs in chat. Okay, so I looked a little bit, and they actually have everything you need if you have a potato PC, including a button that, get this, actually instantly removes all the textures from the game. So far, I'm actually pretty impressed with Arsenal. Bro, no way, you can change the crosshair? Jesus, they, they actually put a lot of thought into this. You can even change the background image if you couldn't see your crosshair clearly enough. Damn. Okay, after configuring my settings, before we jump into the gameplay, there are just a few more aspects of this menu I want to check out. What's this little crosshair here? Contracts? Pistol kills? Headshot kills? Rounds played? Why does Phantom Forces not have this? Wow, okay, this menu is a lot more diverse and has way more layers to it than Phantom Forces does. Like, look at this. They have an update feed, achievement list, detailed stat page, and a whole bunch of other stuff, like extra game modes and even their own Arsenal branded server browser. Alright, so far I'll, I'll give Arsenal props for the menu, but the menu is not the entire game, so let's get into the actual gameplay. Okay, so I just spawned in, and they actually tell you how to play the game from the start. Now, I heard from others that some guns have different fire modes and other ways to use it, so it's nice that the game actually teaches us how to play from the moment we spawn in. Wait, you can't sprint in this game? How am I supposed to reach the other side of the map in 3 seconds if I can't sprint? There's no prone feature either? Does this game have any special movement at all? Okay, so after looking it up on Google, apparently this game has poopy Minecraft-like movement where you apparently jump to go faster. Real original roles, although it's kind of ironic that in a game that somehow ported the Source engine to Roblox, the movement is such that you can't even b-hop. Can we get a round of applause for roles here? Bro, how do you kill me so fast? Nerf that! Nerf that! Bro, he just flung me to the other side of the map! That's so unfair! Nice headshot!
Wow, and I thought Phantom Forces had overpowered shotguns. Dude, the guns in this game are extremely broken. Especially guns like the Railgun and the Trench Shotgun. They are literally like the BFG-50 and KS-23M, except they somehow make oh, them look fair and balanced compared to this. Nah. But one thing I'll give Arsenal is that it has both rocket and grenade launchers, so there's not much to complain about there. Jesus, and I thought Phantom Forces had bad spawns. Alright, so I've been playing for the past 10 minutes, and so far, Arsenal seems like it's not really more other than just run and gun. I mean, sure this game has aimed down sights, but I found more success just using them like any other gun rather than using their ADS ability. I mean, some revolvers can fan fire, other guns have grenade launchers, and some can even allow double jumping, but all you need in this game so far is hipfire and spacebar spam. Which, at least in Phantom Forces, the gunplay there actually takes skill and doesn't just rely on good hipfire spread to get kills. Okay, so I've been playing for a few more rounds, and I'm starting to realize how headshot reliant this game is. Yeah, you know what, who needed to be able to hit headshots anyway? You win this with Never mind, this is the best game ever. Okay, before we move on, can we just talk about the game modes Arsenal has? I mean, look at this. Monkey Business, Railgun Royale, and... Oh, god, no. No! 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 Although I gotta say, Concussion Mania is becoming my favorite. It feels awesome to use a hitscan explosive weapon. Hilarious when you knock somebody off the map, but absolutely dreadful when it happens to yourself. <coughs> but man, some of these game modes need to make it into Phantom Forces. Like, imagine how cool it would be if we had gun rotation and randomizer. Like, seriously, it actually spices up the what would be redundant and repetitive gameplay. Stylus, seriously, start taking notes because Arsenal? They're onto something. But speaking of game modes, I don't get the point in having a ton of different varieties when all of them end in the same way. Like, you either have to get a kill with a golden gun or knife, and sometimes doing so can be extremely annoying. Darn it! Frick! Oh, come on! You know, Arsenal would actually be kind of fun if I wasn't shooting at the most ridiculous avatars I've ever seen in a first-person shooter. I mean, seriously, what the hell is this? Okay, so I've been playing this game for the past hour, and I, I just can't get the hang of it. I think I'm just gonna go back to Phantom Forces. At least that game takes skill to properly master. But I'll give the benefit of the doubt, because there are definitely a few features from Arsenal I'd love to see in Phantom Forces. Like contracts, customization on the same level as Arsenal, and that god damn melee case. Seriously, Stylus, get on that like right now.